Hey, I'm Brie, and welcome to the 12th and final episode of our European Summer Series. If you've been following along, you've witnessed breathtaking journeys across iconic European destinations. From bustling streets of London to the serene landscapes of Sorrento, we've explored it all. Now, we're heading to Portugal, a country renowned for its vibrant culture, stunning coastlines, and rich history. Join me as we uncover the hidden gems of Portugal from the charming streets of Lisbon to the picturesque beaches of Setubal. So sit back, relax, and let's enjoy embark on one last unforgettable adventure together. Hey guys, welcome to this Portuguese vlog. We're so excited to head to Portugal. We are currently at Rome Airport. We're flying from Rome to Madrid, Madrid to Lisbon. I'm a flight attendant, so we're flying staff travel. So fingers crossed we actually get on these flights. So we're gonna be in Portugal for five nights. Um, we're so excited to bring you to Portugal. This is the last country we're gonna see in our Europe trip. This has been mine and my husband's first time to Europe. So we've seen a bunch of different countries. I'm gonna leave the playlist at the end of this video. I'm so excited. All right guys, so update is that we safely arrived into Madrid, but our flight from Rome was, it was like 50 minutes late or something. We got our boarding passes for the next flight, but it was too late to check in our bags. So it just, like sucks right now we're trying to figure out what we're going to do now there's no more flights to lisbon today at all that was the last flight oh should we look up um trains and I'm stuff? doing it now but we're going to miss it because there is a train last train of the night is at 10 45 the bus is is now it gets at 6 a.m okay yeah yeah let's try it. yeah yeah let's do it all right let's see if we can find buses okay let's find a bus let's, let's, let's do it see. okay guys update is we've made it on a bus it cost yeah. 144 euro for two people it leaves in one minute at 10.45. We arrive at 6 a.m. This is our seats here, but the whole bus is literally empty. And so we've claimed the back road <laughs> to try and lay down and sleep. And we're moving now. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Hopefully it's a smooth ride. Good night. Hey guys, so we've made it to Lisbon. It was a big task to get here, but we made it. We've just walked into our room. Luckily, we were able to get early check-in. We're staying at Hotel Anjos. We're staying in Lisbon for two nights and then heading to Porto and then heading back to Lisbon. And this is the bathroom as well. It's pretty nice. All right, we are all showered, dressed, ready to head out. We have a bunch of dirty clothes that we're gonna find a laundry mat and wash them. This is obviously the reality of traveling for a long period of time. Sometimes you need to do washing. So we just grab something to eat while we wait for our laundry to be done. A bread roll with some meat in it and a really like nice sauce. And then this one is like kind of, kind of reminds me of like a pizza bun. Yeah. But like with sure bread. So we've just come back to our room. All our clothes are clean, which is exciting. Brayden also got a beer trim while we were out and we got something to eat and yeah, it was a nice little excursion. I'm obsessed with Portugal's buildings. I think they're so beautiful with all the mosaics and stuff. We also bought some peas for my ankle. If you are not aware of what happened, I twisted my ankle and my knee. I don't know if you can even see the difference, but I basically don't have an ankle on this one. It's like so swollen. Anyways, I think we're just going to chill in the hotel for like a little bit. So it's a bit later. We are all iced, all rested. <laughs> we're heading to Subutal because Brayden has some friends that he knows that lives down there. So we're going to catch up with them for a little bit. And if you're not aware where that is, it's like south of Lisbon over the water, like an hour south basically. So we're going to show you a little part of Lisbon that I guess like most tourists don't go. So we've made it to Setubal and we are walking to Braden's friend's house, Daniela and Fabio. Apparently they're making us dinner, which is so lovely. Also, this is a cute town. Good 
morning guys it's the next day we are currently in Sintra which is like an hour and a bit west of Lisbon we've just taken a train to get here and we're gonna see some old buildings and castles we're basically going to be spending the day here exploring and seeing different monuments Sintra is a town steeped in history and surrounded by lush forests and dramatic landscapes its rich history dates back thousands of years in ancient times Sintra was inhabited by various civilizations including the Romans and Moors who left their architectural and cultural marks on the region. During the Middle Ages, Sintra became a favorite retreat for Portuguese royalty due to its cooler climate and stunning natural beauty. Palaces and estates were constructed, including the magnificent Pene Palace, which we end up visiting. Today, Sintra remains a popular tourist destination, welcoming visitors from around the world to explore its historical monuments, lush gardens, and winding cobblestone streets. Its rich history and timeless beauty continue to captivate all who venture to this magical land nestled in the hills of Portugal. So we're here at the Poço Iniciático, the initiation well, and we're going to go explore. We rode a tuk-tuk from Quinta de Hegeleira to Pene Palace and if you do anything in Portugal you have to experience a tuk-tuk. They are iconic little cars that offer visitors a convenient and fun way to explore the city's attractions. They also have them around Lisbon and Porto. We have arrived at the Pene Palace. The grounds are absolutely huge so we're walking up to like the main palace right now. It's meant to be like a 15 minute walk or so. They do have little buses but we thought we might walk it save like having to wait for a bus and stuff. Despite the less than ideal weather, visiting Pene Palace was an absolutely incredible experience. The palace with its vibrant colours and stunning architecture stood as a beacon of beauty amongst the misty surroundings. Walking through its halls and exploring its intricate details felt like stepping into a fairy tale world frozen in time. The weather may have been gloomy, but it only added to the mystique and atmosphere of this enchanting place. Pene Palace truly exceeded all expectations, leaving a lasting impression and memories to cherish for Forever. Hey guys, so it's almost seven o'clock and that's apparently when this place closes and if you stay until the end There's kind of like hardly anyone here. So it's a great opportunity to get Like some photos and you know all that jazz and kind of have the place a bit more to yourself So it's a bit later, we've already had dinner and stuff and we made some friends. Hello! Hi. Meet our friends! <laughs> Hello! This is Aaliyah. Aaliyah. This is Dino. And Dino. Hello. They're Sorry. from London and yeah, we just had dinner with them and yeah, we're just having some drinks and stuff um, by this beautiful view that you can see. Anything you guys want to say? I don't know. <laughs> Woo. Subscribe, like the video, comment below. <laughs> Yeah, so it's the next day um, we have just checked out of our hotel we originally were meant to be heading to Porto today but things have changed <laughs> we've realized that it's there's no point really going there for one day and then coming back and we would waste time traveling there like two three hours and there and then two three hours back apparently there's some train issues so we might have to catch a bus anyway so we're gonna go to the next hotel drop our bags off and then we're gonna have a day exploring Lisbon yeah but I think that actually works out better because then we actually get to explore the place that we're at instead of just wishing for the next thing or going somewhere further that might actually not be better I don't know I'm sure Porto is awesome but we've decided we've just got to come back <laughs> just checked in to our hotel we've dropped our bags off we are both starving it's like 12 o'clock 12 30 even so we're gonna try and find some breakfast slash lunch <laughs> also we're staying in a really cool place it's a lot more central to Lisbon there's a lot more 
tourists around and things like that. So we're going to get a bit of a different experience than the last hotel that we were at, which is kind of exciting. If you've watched this far in the vlog, congrats. This is the part where we actually <laughs> will be showing you Lisbon properly. So hopefully you can get some value from today. Let's go enjoy. to have lunch at it's called cafe portugal this is it do you want to explain what it is babe yeah so this is francesinha it's a portuguese sandwich originally from porto but because we're not going to porto we're having it here in Lisboa. <laughs> so essentially it's a sandwich like with meat inside it topped with cheese and an egg on top and they call it a heart attack on a plate or something like that so we're gonna have like, heart attacks today let's go Woo! We've just walked into this sardine shop. It has literally walls of sardines. Sardines are really big here. We actually had sardines last night for dinner, like just grilled on a random stove, which was actually really yummy. Yeah, great little souvenir. I'm gonna like pick something up. Brayden just bought some new glasses. Looking handsome. made it down to the ocean and to this thing. The walking tour that we're going to do is a free walking tour by Rick Steves. It's just an app that you download. We've literally been using it all over Europe and we love it. It's great if you don't have time to like book an actual walking tour or anything like that. This way you can just kind of do it on your own time and at your own pace which is really nice. We just like put in ear pods each and just connect it to one phone and just like follow along together. All right, so we've stopped by to get some pastel de bacalhau. So as you can see, apparently it's such a Portuguese flavor. It's a codfish cake with some sort of cheese filling. So we saw a girl pretend to make it earlier on. So we thought, let's go try it. So here we have it. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna eat the codfish cake and give you a little review. It's very fishy. Really, let me try. Oh yeah. Wait, the best part, the cheese part is coming up soon. The reason why we came to this little restaurant in the first place was because it's actually a beer museum. Something that I learned during the audio tour is that Lisbon suffered a devastating earthquake in 1755, followed by a tsunami and fires that destroyed much of its infrastructure and architectural heritage. However, Lisbon was rebuilt in the aftermath of the disaster, resulting in the elegant and orderly layout of the city that is seen today. Just stopped by a cafe called Confeitaria Nacional. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's like the oldest like cafe. It started in 1829, which is pretty old. And we got some of the most famous things to eat here in Portugal. What are they called? Or? Yeah, um, pastel de nata. This is our first um, Portuguese tart in um, Portugal as well. So yeah. Excited. Fun fact, apparently like traditionally it was made from the conventions or like the nuns would like make the cakes. So yeah, interesting. see the columns like how old they were and what they'd gone through and stuff like that. 
Yeah, like, I'm really surprised that a place like that still exists. Like, it's surprising, you know what I mean? Like, it could mm. be destroyed or, like, renovated, but they've left it so, you yeah, know, nice. original as possible. And what's really cool is that it wasn't, there's no one, hardly anyone there. And yeah. it wasn't, like, an expensive event. Like, you know, normally the church we go to, it's like, oh, you have to, like, have a booking or, like, line up and yeah. pay. But this one was just, like, we just, just walked open. in and it didn't cost anything. Well, I don't think it cost anything. No, but you could pay, like, a... Um, donation, donation to help maintain the, yeah. the church which, which was cool which we did we wouldn't have known about it without the tour guide like, yeah you know, exactly to. like it doesn't seem very like on the outside grand or anything it literally just like blends in with the wall yeah but inside <laughs> it's like inside, quite inside it's like you're being transformed into another world it's yeah, yeah. That was so really definitely cool. come visit definitely <laughs> I don't like alcohol in general. I don't like alcohol in general. I don't yeah. like alcohol in general, so. But it's sweet. It I is. It has good flavor. It is, yes. Yeah. It's just like the kick at the end. It's like, oh yeah, it does. It does taste cinnamon. It's like um, on guard nachos. No, <laughs> that's why it? you like it. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's good. On the walking tour, we actually walk past our hotel. And it's like 5 p.m. now, so we're actually going to check in. That's kind of nice. You can see the place in there. It's cool. Wow. just come up to the rooftop of our hotel that we're staying in and it has such a pretty view, look at that! We've just boarded a funicular which is like this little cart thing that goes up this mountain and we're gonna ride it which is really exciting. You just pay cash when you get on which is fine. On like a something. It's a fiesta. Fiesta, aka. <laughs> and we bought a like pina colada. Let's try it. It's yummy. I like it. Yeah, it's so good. We're still on our like walking tour. So it's like a whole day kind of walking tour. Hey? Yeah, but you never know what you're gonna find when you're in, uh, you know, Portugal. Yeah, you're just like it's bumping great. into random stuff. And it's been good to have the time to just like stop and do something that you see that you wanna do. And, yeah. So we can sit here and enjoy this and then get to that's it. So we finished the tour a little earlier because we want to catch the sunset at this viewing point. We've just ordered a Bolt, which is like the Uber that is here in Lisbon. It's gonna cost us literally like three euros or something to get to like this viewing point, which is like, I don't know, 10 minutes away. It's a pretty good deal. And the Bolt is like super cheap here. So we definitely recommend downloading that app and yeah, catching your Ubers through that. We came to this viewing point that mm. we thought was open. It's like the castle, but it's actually closed. So we can't actually see the viewing point and mm -hmm. it's like sunset time now. So unfortunately we're gonna miss. We just found this free viewing platform of the city. It's right near the restaurant called Sam Beezy. I'll put it on the screen. It's a bit cloudy today, but the view is still really pretty. We stopped for dinner at this restaurant. They have peri peri chicken. So we're gonna have that in Portugal, right? <laughs> So we just made it to McDonald's. <laughs> we always love to go to McDonald's in different countries just to see what it's like. And in Portugal, they have mini McFlurries. How freaking cool is that? We got a Snickers flavored and a lion flavored. I'm not quite sure what 
lion play videos. So we've now moved to a wine bar. We got port wine, which is like famous in Portugal. Here we go. I'm gonna try it. Your face. You hate it. Really? You love it? Yeah, I think it's good. It's very sweet, like you said. It's like a sweet grape. I think like normal people would like it, but I just don't like alcohol. I feel like this vlog I'm being very negative about a lot of things, but... Good morning! Did I leave you on TV? Bon dia! Bon dia! <laughs> Um, we've just jumped out of bed because we're going to head to the buffet breakfast which closes very soon <laughs> so we're going to go there and eat. Hey guys, so update, we've made it to Setubal. Is that how you pronounce it? Pretty close. Setubal. Setubal. We're staying at Braden's friend's house tonight. The ones that we had dinner with on the first night. We've just picked up the keys. We're gonna go drop off our luggage and then we're gonna explore this little town. Choco Frito. Apparently it's really famous here in Setubal, which is where we are. Let's give it a taste. Apparently it's fish. I thought it was fried chocolate, so I'm a bit disappointed, but it's fish. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do the chocolate things after. Yeah, here we go. Oh. It reminds me of calamari. Oh yeah, but a bit different. Yeah. yeah let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> So we just had a late lunch. It's like 5 p.m. right now. We're feeling good. We're just walking through like the main center of Setubal. Yeah, this is such a cute little place. We, we're absolutely loving it. Um, this would be a great day trip if you wanted to come of a different scenery than Lisbon. It's about an hour away from Lisbon. And our Bolt slash Uber driver was telling us that they have the best beaches here in Setubal. Like some of the best beaches are down this way. So we're gonna hopefully find a beach. It's not one that he recommends Mended, but it's the one closest to us that we can just walk to right now. So we're going to go suss it out and see what it's like. We got ice creams. So we found a beach um, and it's so beautiful here. You can see all the cliff tops and there's like boats in the water and yeah, it's really nice, really nice sand as well. Spending time relaxing on the beach in Setubal was the ideal way to wrap up five weeks of non-stop exploration across Europe. After the hustle and bustle of traveling through various countries and experiencing countless adventures, having a few hours to unwind and soak in the stunning scenery was pure bliss. Hey guys, so we've just finished up at the beach Beach and we're heading to um, back into the town because we're gonna have dinner with Daniela and Fabio as it's our last night in Portugal and her last night in Europe because we're actually are uh, flying home tomorrow we're gonna try and get some yummy food and have a great night So it's obviously the next day. Dinner last night was so lovely. We got to go to the castle and have like the most delicious dinner. I think that was like our favorite dinner. Don't you agree? Like it tastes so good. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to catch our flight home to Melbourne. So I am gonna end this vlog. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.